Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach Ben from Soccer Entrepreneur. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about a couple different questions that I got through email. And a lot of this comes down to rescheduling. So I've gotten a ton of different types of questions from trainers who don't know what to do if they need to reschedule a session or if someone shows up late to a session. So I'm gonna give you my example. And trust me, I had to learn this the hard way uh, because I wasn't firm with parents from the get-go when I started training players. And if you watch any of my other videos, you know how I talk about always being firm, always being clear and upfront with people before you even work with them. This way, you're not gonna have to run into these types of problems. Uh, but I'm gonna go just through a couple questions here. I have them here on my desktop. So the first one is, what should I do when people show up late? So what I used to do, and this is the wrong way to do it, I'm gonna show you the wrong way and then the right way. But the wrong way was, let's say I'm training a player named John, and John shows up 15 minutes late, and his parents brought him, he's 15 minutes late, we were supposed to start our session at two o'clock. And instead of starting at two, he comes at 2.15. And let's say all of my sessions are one hour. So I reserve my time between two and three, but he shows up at 2.15. So what I used to do back in the day, because I tried to be very nice to people, I wanted to be very accommodating, and that ended up backfiring on me because what people did is if they knew they show, could show up one time late, they could do that as much as they want. And they're not accountable to my time. So what I would do though is if someone, if John shows up at 2.15, I would still train him for an hour. So we would be done at 3.15. And I would only do that if that was my last session of the day. I wouldn't like do that if... Um, there was someone right after that was at three o'clock. I wouldn't cut into their time. But this is something that happened all the time to me. Um, let's just say I had one session on one day and someone shows up 30 minutes late. I would still train them for an hour. And that was the old me. That was the old Ben. I used to do that. I would be very nice about it. I wouldn't even really say anything to the parents. But then I started to figure out how valuable my time is. And I started to realize if these people are gonna always show up late, I'm wasting 15, 20, 30 minutes of time every single time I train them. Like, why would I keep doing that? Why, why don't I either A, train someone else, or B, give them my rules about what I expect going forward? This way they respect me, they respect my time more. And when I say we're gonna train, that's when we're gonna do it. We're not gonna do it later. And if they do show up later, then that's gonna cut into the time uh, that I promised them. So the way I do it now, it's very simple. If John shows up 15 minutes late, he loses out 15 minutes of the session. Um, it doesn't matter what the excuse is, um, and it doesn't matter if I have anyone after him or not. That's me being very firm on what I want, what I expect, and I lay out all my expectations with the parents before they even sign up. Because I know if there's someone who is always gonna show up late, and if they don't abide by my rules, they'll never come into my program. And that's what you wanna do. You don't want to have everything set up where it's loosey-goosey, where people can just sign up, show up whenever they want. Um, that's going to attract people who aren't committed. And you know I'm all about commitment. I want people to be super committed and this way you know you can go and enjoy the sessions. I saw way too many questions this week about this type of question where you know, I have people show up late, I have people who aren't paying on time, there's a lot of confusion with the coach and the clients, and that's going to lead you to frustration. And this is why I created my book called The Startup Soccer Academy. You hear me talk about it at the end of all of my videos, but this is something that I highly recommend. I walk through the process of how to do things the right way. This way when you start, or if you're already training players, this isn't confusing. This is a very simple, easy process. So the other question I got is what to do if someone wants to reschedule a session? And the way I do that is very simple. Um, I do it very different. This might be uh, a little bit more of an aggressive way of doing this um, than how other people do it, but I want to protect myself and I want to protect my time. And I, The number one thing is I want parents 
and players to respect my time because I respect their time. I'm going to do everything I can to help them get better. Um, but at the end of the day, if someone wants to reschedule two seconds before our session, that's not going to fly. So what I do is I have a 48 hour policy where the parent has to call. They can't send a text. They can't send an email. They have to call. So this way we're on the phone together and I understand why they're going to miss the session and when we're going to reschedule our session. This way I'm not getting a text and then having to text them and we go back and forth over the next three days to figure out when we can train again. I want to know right away. Um, this way if I have someone else that wants to train in their time slot that week, I can plug them in there. There's no confusion. After that one phone call um, 48 hours before the session, if they want to reschedule, I know exactly when I'm going to train them again. And this way it keeps the rescheduling process very easy. If they fall in to trying to reschedule um, outside of the 48 hours, so let's say it's the day before or an hour before, I don't offer a reschedule session. And that might be a little too firm for some people, but I want you to think about it. If let's say you have your training John again and his parents call you 10 minutes before the session and you're already there, you got there early, you set up for the session, you prepared, you already took the time to know exactly what you're going to do um, and they don't show up or they call 10 minutes before and they don't show up and maybe it takes you 20 minutes to get to the park that you trained at. Right there you just burned a lot of valuable time and it would be a lot better not even going to the field at all. Um, knowing that, okay, well, they called me, I'm not there, um, and there's nothing that I need to do. If they call, you know, two days before, if you have that requirement, then you know that during that hour that you're supposed to train them, you can fill someone else in, or you don't go at all. You're not wasting any time, and that's what I'm all about. I want you to be very efficient with your time. This way, when you go to sessions, you know that the person's actually going to be there, and you're not guessing, you're not hoping that they're going to pay if you follow like the rules and guidelines that I said in that book that I wrote, you're going to be on the right track, especially from the very beginning. So that's it for today, guys. If you have any more questions about rescheduling or what to do um, or how to write up a contract, anything like that, uh, shoot me an email at startyoursoccercademy at gmail.com or comment below this video. Um, if you want the audio version of these videos, just go um, search on iTunes for my podcast and just type in soccer entrepreneur. You'll be able to find it there. This way, um, if you don't want to watch the videos, if you just want to listen to this in your car um, or in your headphones, you don't have to go on YouTube to watch this anymore. Um, I take all the audio and I put it onto a podcast uh, to make it easy uh, for people who just want to listen. So that's it for today, guys. Go below this video, check out all the different resources I have. Um, if you want to start and grow your academy, I have everything covered below this video. Uh, check that out, and I'll talk to you next time.